The sun, a giant light in the sky that humanity has worshipped, harnessed and toiled under for its entire existence. It has both protected us with its warmth and light as well as harmed us with its radiation and through that very same heat that warmed us. As we developed under it, our minds have evolved and grown more intelligent. We have dreamed of bigger cities, larger empires, and even more recently started to think on a colossal stellar scale. Looking at megastructures, one of the most impressive ever thought up is the stellar engine. Just what is a stellar engine and why would we go about building one? A stellar engine is a gigantic object capable of moving a local star across both time and space. First thought up in the year 2000 from a paper called Stellar Engines for Kardashev's Type II Civilizations by Badescu and Cathcart. In this paper, three types of stellar engines were thought up. Type A is a Skadov thruster, which is so large that through its own sheer size and mass, it can gravitationally attract the star and move it. A star of around our own size could use a stellar engine and move about three one hundredths of a light year in a million years time. Type B is a Dyson sphere, capable of harnessing the star's energy through countless solar panels and being able to direct the star towards its desired galactic location. Such a construction could employ heat thrusters to move across the galactic medium. The third type of stellar engine, Type C, is a Type A and Type B class stellar engine combined to harness both the energy of the star and to be able to move the star. So, for such a massive device, a question arises. Who could build such a megastructure and why would anyone want to in the first place? Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev proposed a scale to measure civilizations based on their ability to harness energy. A civilization capable of building a stellar engine would be a Type II civilization, also known as a stellar civilization. Type II civilizations have harnessed the energy of their solar system and have mastery over everything inside of it, including the sun. The time, resources and energy required to build such a device would be enormous, possibly requiring more materials than what would be available in our solar system. So, what reasons could there be to build such a device? Some disasters in our solar system require long-term thinking, seriously long-term thinking. If a black hole was on a collision course with the solar system within a few hundred million years, or if the solar system was drifting too close to the galactic center, threatening the species with harmful radiation, deviating the course of the solar system could prevent a major disaster. A stellar engine is a truly long-term project. One built for a civilization, planning out a thousand years into the future would be useless. However, a civilization thinking in terms of millions or billions of years, it would be necessary, as a random chance encounter would begin to become much more likely with time. A stellar engine will likely remain in the realm of science fiction for quite some time to come, but it is possible that one day, whether in this solar system or another, we may choose to begin building one. And as always, thanks for watching.